Today, we are back in the kitchen. You know that smell when you first walk into a mall? It doesn't matter if you just ate dinner, it still hits you right in the spot. It's like once you breathe it in, your stomach just and you just got room for more. And of course, you all know what I'm talking about. God's gift to mankind, Auntie Anne's. I am tired of paying for pretzels, okay? I'm sorry, I said it. Today, we're gonna try to make our own. All right, let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we need another bowl. Oh shoot. All right, it looks like we're starting out the pretzels with one tablespoon of salt. All right, one tablespoon. Now we need one tablespoon of sugar. All right, one tablespoon. Now we need one and a half cups of warm water, specifically 110 degrees Fahrenheit to 115 degrees. Apparently with yeast, it's supposed to be a specific temperature, so it will activate it or won't kill it. Like, <laughs> what's that supposed to mean? All right, in you go. Now we need one packet of dry active yeast. All right, we got the yeast. <laughs> yeast is going in. Smells like fertilizer. All right, add yeast and let rest for five minutes until yeast starts to foam. Yo, Louie, what you think about the yeast, huh? Smells pretty bad. I know. What are you doing? I was waiting for the yeast to... <laughs> So as you can see, it didn't really foam. Is that a problem? I don't know. We now have to add four and a half cups of flour. That's how you're doing it? How else do you do it? You take a knife and you do it off the top. Well, I'm not even as fancy. <laughs> that works. One, two, three, four, and a half. We got our flour in. Next, we need three tablespoons of oil. I don't know what type of oil. Vegetable oil, canola oil, car oil, I don't know. All right, right here we got some olive oil. <laughs> extra virgin, kinda like me. We also have extra light. This is good for baking. Probably gonna go with this one. One, two. Yay! We need to mix thoroughly until dough forms. Look at this. Oh, this is gonna get very thick. All right, I'm about to go hands on. How are you supposed to mix this? This is just a mess. Oh, wow, that's a very great noise as well. Low key, it's kind of satisfying, but like, this is so sticky. <laughs> Look at this. All right, I'm gonna go wash my hands. I can't get the rest of this off. Then we need to put it in a greased bowl to let it rise. All right, so now that we got it inside this greased bowl, we gotta cover it with some saran wrap and let it rise for an hour. Do you ever have that problem where the saran wrap just doesn't wanna stick to the bowl and then it keeps on falling off? All right, guys, so we got our dough covered. It is in the bowl. Hopefully it will start rising and I will see you all in one hour. Fingers crossed we haven't completely slaughtered our yeast. Oh, I don't know if this is focused or not. Oh, it's trying to pour out, but it's actually, it's risen a good amount. Okay, so now I think we're supposed to cut it in like eight pieces. Let's see if this works. How sticky is it? Um, it's a little sticky. Let's go one piece, but oh, that's not working. All right, so this is supposed to be a consistency where you could like cut it and then like mold it, but it's, it's really soft. All right, so my dough is a completely different consistency than what it's supposed to be. <laughs> All right, it is time to improvise. I'm gonna try adding a little bit more flour. Maybe that'll help. That is a big chunk. That was way too much. What am I doing, Ben? Hey, but it's helping with the stickiness a little bit. It's just a little heavy on the flour. Well, if it tastes like flour, I think I'll know why, but this is, it's pretty decent. All right, I'm gonna kind of stretch this out a little bit because we need eight pieces. One piece. 
I'm gonna try to flower the cutting board. Maybe that'll help with some of the sticky. Ooh, look at that, bro. I'm freaking like master chefing it out here. All right, this is unconventional, but it's working. Four pieces. Boom. And eight. Look at this. Totally 100% even slices. Perfect. Yo, low key though, I think we might have just completely saved it with the help of flour. All right, now we need to roll them out in thin ropes and twist the two ends to form a pretzel. Okay, Google. Text mom. If you are shopping, can you get some yogurt? Do you want to send it or change it? Shoot. <laughs> All right, roll them out into thin ropes. Okay. What, just like, what am I doing? I used to do this in Play-Doh back in the day. All right, I need you to stop moving. You know what? You know what? I washed this counter. We're going nice and just like, Refine. I don't, what? All right, as you can see, we're just rolling it incredibly well. I think these are supposed to be like 20 inches long or something. Is this working or am I just stretching it? Oh, we can't. <laughs> Woo! This, this, this. All right, this is about to rip. I think this is as thin as we are about to get this one. So what? All right, you do the U, you go like this, you cross it once, cross it twice, Bring it back like this. Wow, that is actually a pretzel, bro. That is high key a pretzel. That's a sad pretzel, but a pretzel's a pretzel. Look at that. Okay, that just looked bad. Boom, one pretzel right there that is not going to cook evenly at all. All right, let's go ahead and try to do this one. What, we gotta roll this. Now you gotta do it on the other side, you ready? Do, 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 do. And then on the other side. Do, 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 do. Yo, bro, don't at me, man. I am literally master chef. Oh, don't start sticking. Nope, 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 nope. Bro, this is not even, bro. <laughs> what am I doing? Why did I decide to make pretzels? All right, you go like this, you cross it again, and then you bring... I don't know if y'all can see this, but these are the saddest pretzels I've ever made. And I haven't made them. <laughs> what is this? What is this? All right, we're taking this dude right here, all right? All right, like I said, we're taking this dude right here. We are going to go ahead and place him on the table, like they said, and then you're supposed to roll it out, all right? Roll it out. Ah! Yo, some, like, out of my five subscribers, one chef is gonna be watching this, or one baker, he's gonna be like, bruh, what is he doing to this poor, like, flour was harvested from some sort of, I don't know, wheat? I don't know. And instead of being used for something great, like a nice pizza, nah, it gets used for this. Now this looks like a smiley face, which is the opposite of my current face. You're supposed to be like, all right, now you do like one twist, all right, very good. And then boom, you do a second twist and you bring it back down. And then what you do is you bring it in and boom, that looks like a, all right, well, not to you guys, but it, it's somewhat of a pretzel, right? There's a three-year-old on YouTube making better pretzels than this. I feel like a pizza maker when I do this, bro. Hey, if any, like, Italian, not even Italian, bro, does any, like, pizza parlors, like, want to take me out so I can ruin a little bit more dough, you know? Not, like, take me out on the date, but, like, you know, for a video, obviously. All right, cross, and then cross. I guess you do have to do the two loop. Oh, wow. Mm. Beautiful art. It's art. I think I'm supposed to get a pan of water boiling. Let me do that real quick. Ow. Roll with your palm, they said. It'd be easy, they said. Does this look easy? You know what? Maybe maybe it's just because I'm, I'm a little heated right now. Bread kind of signifies life, you know? You got your flour. You know, it's just nice. You got some oil. You got some water. Some people might even put egg in it. Actually, I don't know if that's true or not. But then, if you want things to really grow, you gotta add yeast. And what is yeast? Honestly, I don't really know, but I'm pretty sure it's like a type of bacteria, right? So without the bad, without the bacteria, life would just be flat. It'd be boring. It wouldn't nice and puff up and yeah, you know? Currently, this dough is being the yeast inside of my life. All right, do the loop and do the loop. And ooh, there you go. Pretzel. There you go. See? Beautiful. Oh no, this one's a big one. Boom! I probably should stop spanking the, the pretzels. It's gonna get me demonetized. Then my family's gonna see it. It's gonna be a little awkward. There's nothing weird about it, guys, I promise. It just it just 
it just had a nice sound to it or something. Yo, I think I'm kind of figuring it out. Like, I'm kind of getting it to work a little bit, bro. All right, all right. One twist, two twist, and bring it down. All right, last one. All right, the last pretzel is complete, and we got it on the mat. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare what's called an egg wash, which I guess is just an egg, like a little bit of water. I don't know, I don't know what it's used for, but that's what it says to do, so. Ah, uh, I know how to crack an egg, I promise. It was just, it, it's just been a little while. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and set this aside for the time being. All right, so now we wanna prepare a pan with parchment paper on it, and you wanna spray it with a cooking spray. Now most people, you know, they'd say, well, use Pam. But nah, pass me with that cancer spray. I got this. Honestly, I don't even know what it's called. It's called like ghee or ghee spray. I don't know. Not sponsored. I don't know. So now we got a pan of water and baking soda, approximately one third cups of baking soda, going to a soft boil or a rolling boil. I don't know what it's called. But we're supposed to boil each side of the pretzel for 30 seconds. Oh, this is this is art right here. Just art. Oh no. Oh no. Get off. Hey, all right, 30 seconds. Our pretzels have been stung by a bee. All right, I think that's been approximately 30 seconds. I don't know. Don't have much hope for this guy right here. Oh, oh wow, okay. Let's go ahead and get that started. Wow, look at this pretzel, bro. This is art right here, man. How can you not say that's a pretzel? Oh shoot, I missed it. That was 40 seconds. Uh, oh shoot. <laughs> what am I doing, bro? I am not certified for this. Might help if I had a better tool than a spatula. Here we go. Mighty mini. Oh, shoot. And 30 seconds. Flip you. Ooh, dude. Okay, now that one. Tell me that doesn't look straight out of the Auntie Anne's logo. Oop, and fishing you out. All right, now the next few are kind of just a disaster in general, so if they don't work out well, you know, no hard feelings. And flip. All right, say goodbye to you. All right, coming up next is literally our best looking pretzel, so hopefully this goes well. And in she goes. Now here goes freaking elephant tusk from Star Wars. All right, there you go. Oh, he lost a tusk. Why does that look like a drumstick? All right, coming up next are probably our better looking ones of the batch. Oh, never mind, they start to stick. There you go. Uh, stop, reset, start. So apparently, this is a similar way to how you cook bagels. Like it gives it like the nice, I don't know, outside, whatever the outside is. Look at that. That's, I meant to do that. It looks like V-Bucks, everybody. All right, it is the last one. All right, next up is the egg wash. And as you can see, you know, <laughs> we're pretty good at this. All right, all jokes aside, like as awful as these look, it's actually kind of fun making them. All right, I'm gonna go stick them in the oven for around 10 to 15 minutes. It currently smells like burnt parchment paper right now, but other than that, I mean, we're getting really close. All right, so we got them out of the oven. I got a little bit of sugar and cinnamon over here, but we'll, we'll hold off on that for now. But this, this is how they're looking. Like honestly, they could be worse. Let's go ahead and open up and see how they're looking. Yo, why is it actually not too bad? Like, it's actually pretty fluffy. Here, can you see this? Are you focused? Hopefully. Like, this is actually pretty fluffy. All right. Hold up. Why is it actually good? This tastes like a pretzel. It's time to turn it from a normal pretzel into an Auntie Anne's pretzel. We got some butter right here. Pour this in. Please do not harden or coagulate. The next step is to take our actually decent looking pretzel, dump it into butter, flip it around. There you go. Ooh, no, that's a lot of butter. I'm gonna go, you know what, this one, this will just be a normal pretzel, all right? So I'm just gonna drop that off right there. Oh, I need some salt. All right, so we take a little bit of salt, and then, now that's a pretzel. All right, option number two, you got your pretzel. Forget the, you know what, actually, yeah, obviously, you, you gotta do butter. You put the butter, cinnamon sugar, Put it in. There you go, bro. This is God's gift to mankind right here. There you go, look at that. Hey. Hey. hey you wanna try it? Yeah. Boom. Boom. Not too bad. Boom, you know, feeling creative? A little bit of both, salt and sugar. Time for the holy grail of pretzels, the pretzel bite. Like just 
the golden nugget of auntie and his red me, me, butter and sugar. This this is art. This is if Picasso was alive in the 21st century, he'd be making these right here. Well, there you go, guys. Homemade auntie and pretzels. As you can see, they look just as good as what you'd find in a mall. I'm somewhat of an expert, so if you want to hire me, call me. Fortnite dance with me for like hmm? the last five seconds.